Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ Allegro 5 a platformer tutorial and in this tutorial we're just gonna be making a few modifications to the animation class to make it uh, make it better and easier to work with in the future uh, but the way that our animation class is, is set up right now is that we can only set one animation to a certain object at a time and if we want to do multiple animations to it it would be too complicated or uh, we'd have to modify too many things so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up so that we can do multiple animations and then uh, that will give us numerous possibilities so I made a tutorial video on, video on this earlier um, but uh, uh, it was too long so I tried to revert the code back to the way it was before. If something, if you notice something's different or something doesn't match yours, then let me know and I'll just tell you what I did differently. But all in all, it should be correct. Now to get this actually started. So what we're gonna do now is uh, for every, for all our get functions in our animation.h, add in the ampersand symbol right there in front of it and we're gonna go we're gonna scroll down and just put the ampersand symbol in there okay now for our uh, set functions we can get rid of that and we can get rid of this uh, set alpha as well okay so we're gonna get rid of this virtual set alpha this set is active so we're gonna get rid of both of those and we're gonna change this from protected to private okay uh, so what's gonna happen now is that our fade animation class isn't gonna oh yeah we're gonna take away all these virtual functions as well so our fade animation is still gonna be uh, derived from the animation class right it doesn't really need to ha it doesn't really have to be now because we don't really have any virtual functions or anything like that but uh, we just they they are related and we might need to pass some certain values to it so we're gonna keep it the way it is right the way how fit animation inherits from an animation so anyways uh, the fade animation class is we're gonna we're not gonna use a load content we're not gonna have unload content we're not gonna have any of these things right here okay so we can get rid of these and we can get rid of the set alpha right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, uh, I guess, um, a boolean called set increase, and we'll set increase to that value. So we're just gonna go to our fade animation .cpp. So uh, let's get rid of this. And in here, we're gonna take these two values cut them and put them in our constructor okay so we got them in our constructor so we can get rid of our load content method and in our update method for our fade animation it's gonna be something different and in this case since if you want to do this cuz all our anything that inherits from animation is going to do this so what we can do is just put animation and a and you can make this a virtual function if you would like so yeah we can make this a virtual void right so uh that is set that way so we're going to go to our fade animation .h uh we're going to add our update function animation ampersand a Okay, change this. Okay, so we, so in here, now we gotta do something. Now, remember how I told you to put the ampersand in front of it? The reason why I told you to put the ampersand in front of it is that once we put that in there, we're able to modify it. So now this acts as a get and a set value like a get and a set function as well so if you want you can even change the name so i'm not even going to put get alpha or whatever i'm just going to put it in capital is active and i'll put alpha in there so we got to modify this as well so so i'm kind of doing this kind of like properties in c sharp but yeah uh so 
let us go here. So instead of putting is active there, we're just gonna put a dot is active. For alpha, we're gonna put a dot alpha, and we got to hide the parentheses, and we'll put a. I don't know if it it might work without the parentheses, but it's proper programming to do that because they are functions, right? So we'll put a dot alpha there. A dot alpha dot alpha for everything in here and we're not getting any errors without the parentheses but we should put it in there okay so we got all this set and we got all this we got this, all this stuff set up so let's go to where it says set alpha now we had a virtual function where if we set the value for alpha or something then it would change this and so on and so forth what we're just gonna do is just we'll just have our fade animation set increase and we'll just set this increase to uh, value and increase will be equal to our value okay so we got that all set up and hopefully everything is good so now we're gonna go to our screen manager dot h and we're gonna change this to an animation type and we're gonna get a fade animation type and we're gonna call it fade okay so what's going to happen now is that we're going to say we're going to go to our add screen add screen method and we'll just put dot alpha is equal to zero is active is equal to true okay so we got that set up now uh since since our fade animation before whenever we set it our alpha value whatever to zero or something was that increase the true and so on and so forth what we're just gonna do is call we're gonna say fade dot set increase and we're gonna set it to true so we know that we should increase so this is the way that our updates gonna work now so in here instead of calling transition update we're not gonna call that anymore what we're gonna do is call fade dot update and make and we're gonna pass in our animation no our transition animation sorry so we're passing in a reference of this so what's gonna happen is in our fade animation it's gonna go through the update modify the values or whatever that's within the alpha values and stuff and then it's gonna just modify that and that's all we need to do our fade animation all we need to do is just modify the fading values right that's the whole significance of it and that's what all our other animation classes are gonna do so our sprite sheet animation is just gonna update which frame we're on uh, zoom animation is just gonna update the scale so we don't need to have all those load content unload content we just need to update a current animations values right so with this method say we have a zoom animation class or whatever right we could make a uh, an instance of a zoom animation and then we can do so we can make a reference of our zoom animation and we could call zoom dot update and it would update the scale value for this transition and then we call fade dot up update and it will modify the alpha value for transition so we'll modify all the values that we actually need to modify and therefore we can call different animations at the same time and uh, I know this kind of might sound confusing to you, but once we add in multiple animations in future tutorials, then you'll see the significance of this. So we're gonna change this from get alpha, and we'll just put alpha. Uh, we'll just say alpha is equal to 255. Get alpha set is equal to false. Okay, so now we got to also go to our splash screen. And is it in here? Oh no, cuz we don't have I don't really have the do I have the fading in here? Oh, first of all, we got to change it from set is active or if you never change it then you don't have to worry about this, but 
Um, but we got we got everything done for the most part. So anything that has to do with fading or any animation you added in, then make sure that you create an instance of it first, right? Create an instance of that. So in this one, we have our our fade animations in there, right? So we don't have to put. All we have to do is put our animations in there. Make an instance of fade animation, and we'll just call it F animation. We'll go to our splash screen, and in our update. Oh, okay, yeah, mine doesn't fade, right? Because I I don't even have that. But on our update, what we would call is we'd call our F animation dot update, and then you would make a reference to whichever thing that you're trying to update. And that's what you would do for anything that you're fading in. And with that way, with that method, you can update multiple things at the same time. So by the end of this tutorial, we should have the same result as we did before. I'm just compiling this now just to see if I missed anything. Hopefully I didn't. So I did. So let me pause this and start it again. And we... It didn't compile because of something it's it's with our menu manager right uh, but there's something that we have to really do to majorly modify the menu manager to um, adapt to our new animation system so I'm going to make a new tutorial on that because this is getting a bit long so hope you enjoyed this the next tutorial should be fairly short um, so I hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching and bye